The purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to go from a functional hierarchy diagram in InnoSlate to an activity diagram, and also to explain how to do looping and branching in your activity diagram. So from a pre-created functional hierarchy, you're going to click the open menu and then go to activity diagram. This will automatically create an activity diagram for you with the same activities that are on your functional hierarchy. Now, in this case, we say, well, not everybody likes sugar in their coffee. So we're going to make adding sugar an optional activity. And so in order to do that, we open up the menu here, the sidebar. And in the sidebar, we can add a decision or. So the decision or causes a branching action. So we add in the decision or just before the add sugar. Now the add sugar, we're gonna say add sugar, yes or no. So the decision that we're making is, do we like sugar? And that answer would be either yes or no, do we prefer sugar? So we're going to have adding sugar on the yes path. If we have the no path, then we're going to do nothing. See, it's acting a little squirrely here. You need to make sure that it you see that green line. Once you see the green line, then it'll actually drop it into the appropriate place on the activity diagram. OK, so now we have branching this logic is now branching depending on whether we prefer to add sugar or don't prefer to add sugar. Okay, so then uh, we think, well, if we go ahead and brew coffee, it's likely that we're going to want to have more than one cup of coffee. So this is these are actions that could potentially be repeated. So in order to reflect that, we have what, uh, is shown in InnoSlate as a decision loop. So we insert the decision loop, again, making sure we see the green. Now notice there's nothing inside the loop. We have to explicitly add the elements inside the decision loop. So the first thing in the decision loop is gonna be pouring coffee. Now, if we grab the entire decision or, and we we're going to put this that in downstream from do, pouring the coffee. So you can see now that we have the choice of sugar inside this loop. Notice that it's defaulting to be a loop action. And this is really going to be another cup. So depending on whether we choose to do another cup, we're going to repeat that action. And then once we're done, well, we probably want to drink in between. So we would need to add in after the sugar, we would want drinking coffee. And then that's added into the activities inside our looping structure. Okay, it's very important to save your diagram after you do the work. So now you want to go back you have to go back into your diagrams and look at your functional hierarchy. You can see in the functional hierarchy that you now have added in activities for both the loop and the um, decision or block. So we've, we've added the alternative pathway prefer sugar and then pour coffee, which we're doing repeatedly. Um, those are now on the activity automatically added, or sorry, it's another cup that actually got added automatically. So do we want to do another cup? That's the looping action. Notice that those are, no, are automatically added to the functional hierarchy in, in a slate. And that is 
one of the purposes of doing model-based system engineering in the first place is to have this automatic linkage of the various diagrams. And so that is on purpose that you will see these extra activities now being added to your diagram. Um, that is appropriate. Doing looping or um, in this case, making a decision, those are actually functions um, within the context of a functional hierarchy. So that is appropriate. 